from Star Family Farm. I'm Christy. Oi, I'm RJ. Not really. Huh? Who is this? Who is this? Is this Carl? Huh? Mm-hmm. This is Carl. And for those who follow us on Facebook, you can see he's doing really good. If he sits calm, he still has a little head bobble going on, but the vet says should get better in time. So, um, but anyway, so he's my counterpart today. No, you're not. You're going to lick everything, huh? Okay, I got to get to work. All right, you ready? Yeah? <laughs> All right. So, welcome to Straw Family Farm. Um, let me adjust the camera. I had to adjust it down because he's so short. All right, in the chapel, humble, humble yourselves, therefore, under God's mighty hand, that he may lift you up in due time. That's 1 Peter 5, 6. So, just remember, everybody has their time. Just be humble to what you think God has got you on a path to do, and you'll be fine. You know, don't forget that uh, he can change your direction if you've misunderstood, too. So, just saying. All right, in the barn stalls. Uh, Carl was our big thing. He scared me to death. I went to work Monday. He was fine. RJ had him out. They did their normal day stuff. Um, they go out when RJ's roping the dummy. They go out and their farm dogs. He can kind of keep an eye on them so that they're not chasing chickens. They're learning to be with the goats. They're, you know, and we don't keep perfect eye on them. Um, they're farm dogs. So we don't plan on having them in the house. This winter, they're going to be out protecting, keeping coyotes at bay, you know. Um, we got them young so that they get used to everything before the winter set in, but we don't, it's kind of like Jethro. We turn him out at night, we go to bed. You know, I don't sit there and watch him do everything. But the puppies, they came back in. RJ, it was probably, I get off at four on Mondays and it was probably, he said like 3.30 when he brought them in. But I don't get home till almost 4.30. It takes me a little bit of time to get home. So even he was estimating between 3 and 3.30. So 4 and 4.30. You know, we're talking maybe an hour unattended in the house. He brought him in. Let him start with the air conditioning. Um, they get water. He's got water outside for him. So it's not like they're not in it. But here it's cooler water. So they come in and drink more. Um, he got a drink. When I got home, I literally walked through the door. I come to the gate and I always talk to them. And... I couldn't see Carl, and Carl was around the edge of the, the table, and all of a sudden he throws up, and he's just sitting there shaking. And so I called RJ, I said, something's wrong with Carl, you need to come in here, what's going on? So I don't know, I'll be there in a second. He gets in here, and as a, at first he could stand, and I thought he'd just gotten a little sick, you know, an upset stomach, but within an hour, he couldn't stand. Like he was, you could physically, physically see his head going like this and he shivered like he had a fever um we called the vet the vet said that with it being something that fast it probably was something toxic outside we've had these mushroom things pop up i don't i'm not a mushroom person i don't like mushrooms i don't eat mushrooms i'm sure they're great to cook with please don't criticize i just don't know anything about them and i don't eat them so that makes it even worse if i ever looked at mushrooms at the grocery store i probably would know how to identify at least a few, but a mushroom is a mushroom is a mushroom is a mushroom, and I don't eat any of them, just saying, unless they're hidden in my food, then of course, yeah, I, I don't pick them off, I do pick them off of pizza, I take that back, anyway, I don't know mushrooms, so, um, he says it could have been, um, some of the mushrooms that have popped up, any kind of plant that he ate, that he tested or tried, um, he gave him a shot for, um, just like his belly ache, I guess it's for pain or whatever. And he did say that he was a little dehydrated, so he gave him saline solution under the skin and sent us home with some more saline solution, which we have more, you know. So, um, they're over on the floor playing. I'm a little protective of Carl right now, so, uh, that night was hit and miss. We put him in a kennel by himself. He was upstairs. RJ slept on the couch with his hand literally in the cage. I was up every hour to two hours checking on him. Um, he never attempted to leave that cage, so we don't know at what point he got better. But by the time it was time for me to get up and get ready, you know, for work, okay, I didn't get up regular time because I'd been up every few hours and I was tired. So about 
6, 6.30? Yeah, 6.30. Probably closer to 6.30. So I, I hit the snooze button a couple of times, okay? So probably 6.20. Who knows? Um, anyway, so I got up. And when I talked to Carl, he just popped right out of that kennel and down here he went and I opened the other kennels and took them all outside. Like starting our day a little late, but like nothing else ever happened. And he has been fine since. Um, he does sit in one corner in particular and I think it's to steady him. We've noticed him going over to that corner and just kind of sitting because it is a corner and he can sit with his side. And his head is still a little wobbly every once in a while, especially when he gets excited. But other than that, Doc says it's fine motor skills. He says, in a dog, you're probably not going to notice it too much. He said, but if he ate something that made him sick, he's probably not the sharpest crayon in the box anyways. <laughs> Gotta love Doc. Um, but he is doing fine. Give him a water bottle. He's chasing it. It's not a water bottle. I, I give him two liter. I refuse to give them the little drinking, the little 20 ounce bottles. Because for some reason, when you give them those, they go right for the caps and take the caps off and chew them and I'm afraid they're going to choke on them. So I give them the big two liter and they treat it like a football. They hit it all around, kind of like a soccer ball, and then they just carry it by the top with the twisty part, but they don't chew the twisty part off. And I, I don't understand the difference, but it, to our dogs, it's fine. So um, he is doing awesome. And like I said, he's a little bit of scaredy pants. He's Made mommy a scary pants. Um, so I bought them toys. Yeah, I spoiled them. <laughs> it is what it is. I spoiled them. Just saying. Uh, Bidet still hasn't had her cat. Um, we still don't know if the two sheep are bred or if the goats took. Because if you remember, we put those in late in the season. So we don't know. Um, whiskey got a little cut on her face. Um, we think she rubbed on a T post trying to itch her head. Don't know. Um, nothing too serious. We cleaned it out, doctored it, Underwoods, you know, we're good. Um, let's see, what else? Uh, I think that's really it for in the barn. She saw trouble went down in the pond, stayed with our campers. Kind of made me mad needs to stay up here and get to the barn at night. I'm afraid something's going to get her. But anyway. Um, let's see. What else? I think that's really it. Um, for those of you who don't know. Oh, well. We'll just go on to Mini Fences first. Uh, mini Fences. The electric company came and cleaned a lot of the trees out of our tree line. So we've got some more fence to fix. Um, that will be taking place next week. RJ will be on it and getting hay feeders ready for winter because the sheep and goats seem to tear them down. You just can't make them sturdy enough for sheep and goats. So, out of wood anyway. Uh, I think that's really all we have going on in the yarn farm. Um, those of you, I guess this is kind of the farm related. Uh, those of you that don't know, we've opened up two campers. We have one, two, three, four, five, six sites that you can rent. It's through Hip Camp, so everybody can come and do a farm stay if they want to. Um, it is camping though, so and we provide nothing. There's a fire ring. We have some wood down there, but we don't provide wood. It's pretty much just come out here and camp on the farm with everything. You have an option of camping in the garden and camping down by the pond. So, just saying. Uh, but anyway, we've had Labor Day weekend. Campers and trouble is causing trouble. Traveling down there, not coming home at night. <clears throat> like having a teenager again. Trouble's a cat, by the way. Uh, let's see, what else? Um, in the hay fields, or in the fields, I was going to go down and weed eat the um, garden, but I have an, an issue with the weed eater, and I don't know. It, it, it just, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. So, I don't want to hand clear what I have to clear. So, I really want to delete it. It is what it is. Um, I might get that done today. I don't know. So, we'll just move right on into the, in the farmhouse because that's really where most of the stuff is going on. Um, I've been cleaning the house just yesterday and today. Uh, the bar is still terrible, but I got all the dishes done, put away. 
I'm on my last load of laundry and I've got some ironing to do and then um, I'm going to grill up. I know it's not traditional but I know most people grill burgers and then eat them right away. My hair is really bad today guys, sorry. Um, but we grill them up and then reheat them in the microwave because we just don't have the time to grill and have a family thing. But it is Labor Day weekend and Burgers and Dogs is on the menu. So I will be cooking up, I don't know, 10 or 12 burgers and a whole package of dogs. And then they'll put in the, be put in the fridge. And so RJ's got, RJ is at a team roping right now, the one that he works. Then he's got a rodeo tonight. And then he's got one, a rodeo tomorrow. So yeah, when he's home, he's home. I've pretty much been man on the farm. I've got to get the ironing done and finish the laundry. And that's really all I have to get done before I go to, um, oh, and cook the burgers and dogs before I go bowling. So I still have bowling tonight. Um, but I joined a little league for those of you that didn't know. Not little league, but I joined a small league. So just for fun, just for fun. Um, oh, I did forget one thing. I'm sorry, I'm this bad. Ah! So this week we got mail. And I love my mail. Um, this mail, hello Carl. I said Elizabeth, not Carl. Oh, wait, this is RJ. Is RJ making an appearance? Okay, RJ, what are you going to do? Hmm? What? Yeah, the mail's not for you. Are you going to read it to him? Hmm? Yeah, what's it say? It says... Christine Straw. Mm -hmm. It gives our address. And it says it's from Roy Elizabeth. Yeah, it says small packet. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It got here a lot faster than hers got to Canada. So, um, oh, I should put that in there. Uh, if you remember, she has a balcony and does gardening to the best of her ability on that balcony. So, we sent... Be the cat, a little cat grass garden, and they planted it. And she uh, put a little video up. I'll put a link down below of B with her grass. She B is quite the farmer. We have a pig that's a farmer, right? Carl, what are you doing? Huh? You have to look at the camera. RJ, look at the camera. RJ, Carl, what are you doing? Get down, silly boy. There you go. Um, he does come check in with me more often. I noticed that he's been doing that. I think it's because I carried him around and I held him when he was shaking and scared. And Doc said those mushrooms could have kind of made him hallucinate. So he could be identifying with me a little bit more. Um, just as safety. <laughs> so, anyway. Alright, back to our mail. Um, I call her Liz. Her name is actually Elizabeth. So, anyway, I won a little thing from her, and it says, congrats, love, Elizabeth. I love, even if you just put a hand, I hate getting a package with just something in it and no note. I, I, I leave notes. I'm a note girl. So, okay, RJ and I couldn't help it. We had to look at these because they're just so darn cute, and I don't have time to go through. Remember, there's 52 cards in this deck. Okay, what it is is I won a little deck of playing cards from the British Columbia SPCA. Um, Elizabeth has uh, her channel. The next drawing that she does, I think she's she does want every hundred subscribers. I want to say this is for 200, and I think 300. We're going to do at least 50 yards of hand spun wool for her. Um, I don't know if how, whether I'll do a hundred yard. It just depends on what I've got around. It will be wool from the sheep farm, and I'm gonna hand spin it, and then she is going to tell me where to mail it. I'll have pictures and everything. Um, up, and you will only be able to win that through her channel. Just saying, so you'll have to follow her rules, and uh, I'll leave a link to hers below, so we'll see. Okay, so the SDCA cards, every one of them, I'm going to try and do this just real quick, and, but like all the aces have different ones, have different pictures of kitty, it's just the cutest thing. Um, and and they're all ones with conditions. If you look, this one's not, um, doesn't have any ears. Somebody has been very cruel to it. Um, let's see, there was one, I think it was back here. 
was a one-eyed kitty that was just too darn cute. Now I can't find it. Oh, here. Okay. There's the one-eyed kitty. And this guy has two braces on. You don't ever know um, the story behind him, but if you look real close at the bottom, this is Maverick. So the SPCA has helped Maverick and got him into a home. Um, even the Jokers have animals on them. And this one has kitty cat. And it tells you up at the top how to get um, want your animal here. And it gives a, uh, a website. And apparently they have a contest to get these done. So um, I'll put that link in the description box below too so that if anybody wants to do it I think it's a cool idea um, you know how I am about rescue animals um, this one our days looks like he had a booger hanging out his head it's just his coloring <laughs> but I think it looks more like a teardrop but you know boys so and there's funny ones and all that kind of stuff so um, and there's cats and dogs alike but I have a brand new pack of playing cards so, uh, yeah, go over and I'll have that website for these um, down below if you want to put your animal there or, or enter that contest. I'll put Elizabeth's link below. Um, yeah, because you'll need her link below to enter her contest. I think it's at 300. I don't know when she's going to do her next one. Um, that's up to her. But i got to get to spinning because I've got to have some yarn on hand that is going to be from our sheep, hand spun by me. And I will just mail it. I'm not going to mail it to Canada and then turn around and mail it someplace else. So to save shipping and handling, I'll have it here and I'll get her pictures of it and all that stuff. And maybe do a small clip about it and what animal it's from. And I think I'm going to use Leighton's wool. I don't know. Because she's an Angora um, La Macha cross. It's goat hair. So I don't know. So I'm going to try and get something together for her for her next um, giveaway. Because if you remember, I've actually won two of her giveaways. And she does them totally random. I don't know what it is about her and I. But if you remember, I was the director of a shelter. She volunteers at the shelter. Um, she has cats. It, it, there's just too many parallels to mention. But anyway, she's amazing. And a woman after my heart. So I actually started um, watching her because of her um, videos on the trams. I miss the European trams. And she has the Canadian trams, which are kind of like the European trams. But anyway, uh, a whole other story. So not off, off topic. All right, back to the farmhouse. <laughs> no, I sound like RJ, huh? <laughs> um, let's see, what else? I really, that's all I have is it's a typical Labor Day weekend. We have opened up to camping, so we've got some camping things going on. Um, we're going to do that year round, by the way. So camping in the winter at the farm is also available. Uh, I'm going to cook burgers. I gotta get some, I've got to get RJ's ironing done. Other than that, I think that's really it. There's not a whole lot going on. Everything is going fine with the animals. Um, just normal everyday life, which I know to you guys, I've had people tell me how exciting it is. It's just get up, do chores. Um, watching to see what took, what didn't. Um, we've only got four more animals. If they don't go by the end of September, then it didn't take. Then none of them, the late breeders take. We won't have a fall program. Uh, we're working on getting uh, the uh, naming thing done. And I think we're going to make a video and a blog post just separate on that. Uh, but other than that, that's really all we're working on. Um, we will start breeding season the 1st of October. So these are, are the really hot days. Um, RJ is working to make finals. He needs one more good win, and it puts him going to finals. And tonight is the last rodeo that qualifies him to do that. So tonight is do or die for him. Either he wins good and he makes the finals, or he pinches out. That's what we call it because he'll be like one out. Um, right now he's sitting like second to last, but if anybody above him or if anybody below him that's right below him pops up, then he's pushed out. So it's just that close to making finals. And if you remember, he was 
pushed out last year by one. So, I mean, it's great to be the top 16, but it's better to be the top 15 and get a chance to go to finals. So, top 16 in the ACRA is not a bad place to be. But for RJ, this will be the second year that he's so close to making it. Um, so say a prayer for him tonight, and hopefully he'll make it. Uh, yeah, other than that, I think I'm going to get off of here. Carl's at my feet again. He stays at my feet a lot now. So um, I'm going to pick up a bite to eat, finish my laundry, hang out, and then take my shower and go bowling. I will see you guys later. Don't forget to check out Elizabeth's channel. Don't forget to subscribe so that you can see when that video goes up she does not hit it's not like daily videos um so she doesn't bombard you with a bunch of videos and i can catch up on all of hers in the weekend like she'll put out maybe two or three a week and i can catch them all up one weekend matter of fact i think she had this mailed before i responded because she she knows i only watch on the weekends and so i think she told me she mailed it like wednesday because she already had my address so, oh well. <laughs> it is what it is. I will talk at y'all later. You have a great Labor Day. And remember to um, support, love, and take care of your military folks, okay? They're laboring in the most awesome way just for you.